Some say he's a legend. Zara was a servant of the people. He did what was needed. Now he's needed again. Others, a ghost. Be careful, senorita. There are dangerous men about. Some say he fights for justice. There are some who would call him a rogue. Others for revenge. All that playing with swords, shooting guns, racing around on horses. Such sweaty pursuits are hardly the work of a gentleman. No one has seen his face. Shh. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I had impure thoughts about a man. Lustful? Yes, lustful. But everyone knows his mark. Not bad. The only sin would be to deny what your heart truly feels. Not bad at all. Search everything! You know, Zoro, he could be anywhere. <laughs> Did you miss me? Just one man, damn it. It's sorrow. <gasps> the Mask of Zorro. Man, what a fun movie that is. It is an extremely amount, a lot of fun. It reminds me a lot of Indiana Jones meets uh, the Douglas Fairbanks Zorro movies. But, yeah, no, it's just, it's just, this is extremely amount of fun. It's directed by Martin Campbell, who directed, actually, uh, GoldenEye and Casino Royale, two of my favorite Bond movies. And it's also directed by the same guy who directed... The Green Lantern. We'll hold that against him. Uh, yeah, but Zorro, just Mask of Zorro, is just an um, awesome movie. Um, I really like the chemistry between the actors. Like, Antonio Banderas, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Anthony Hopkins all do a great, great job. Even the side characters, the villains are scummy and sadistic and... They're just well acted. It's just a well acted film. Probably my favorite part though has to be actually the stunts and the and the action. It's actually well shot, well choreographed and everything. It feels like a Star Wars film, but with Zoro and swords and swashbuckling adventure. And that's what I like in this movie. It's the action and the characters that makes it work for me. The script is basically generic. It's a generic superhero action adventure movie with, with a not, with a good script, good lines in it. But honestly, it's the characters that makes it, this movie work as well as it does. Without Antonio Banderas or Anthony Hopkins, I think you would just have an average action movie you wouldn't get like this awesome swashbuckling adventure with these awesome characters that makes it work. Antonio Banderas makes his character work because he's charming, he's, he's kind, he's likable. He's a likable character. And I, I think this is honestly his best role. Yes, I do like him as the Puss in Boots from Shrek movies, but honestly Zorro is his best role. And he's most annoyingly known for it. Now, and Anthony Hopkins, however, though, there's a, this one scene at the beginning of the movie where Anthony Hopkins is a younger man, and he does a great job as Zorro as well. Yes, he is Zorro. Spoiler alert, if you have not seen this movie, it's been, like, over 20 years, so get on it. Um, but, yeah, this movie is just well-acted, well-scripted, characters are great i like this movie uh, it's just a fun time and this is just if i want to just watch some fun awesome action movie with great characters i'm gonna put on the mask of zorro so yeah i definitely think it deserves a place on my list because i love this movie i just do i uh, 
I watch it all the time, and I cannot stop watching it. It is one of my favorite uh, uh, action movies of all time. I'll just put it on. It's just a great movie. Definitely watch it. If you have not seen Mask of Zorro, definitely check it out. Yeah, this is number 99. All right. On to the next movie.